neither to the this or that neither in the center you don't have to answer to the question but then all the answers are inside that ka when you say ka all the carbon dioxide has gone out and nothing except silence emptiness there was the last line the last poem of hoshin the 10th story from the series zen fresh zen bones written by paul rips the last poem of hoshin zen master hoshin lived in china many years then he returned to the northeastern part of japan where he taught his disciples when he was getting very old he told them a story he had heard in china This is the story one year on the 25th of December Tokufu who was very old said to his disciples I am not going to be alive next year so you fellows should treat me well this year the people thought he was joking but since he was a great hearted teacher each of them in turn treated him to a feast on succeeding days of the departing year on the eve of the new year Tok Kufu concluded you have been good to me i shall leave you tomorrow afternoon when the snow has stopped the disciples laughed thinking he was aging and talking nonsense since the night was clear and without snow but as midnight snow began to fall and the next day they did not find the teacher about they went to the meditation hall there he had passed on it is not that the teacher tells the students it's not that the teacher knows when he is going to die when people hear this story they think the teacher can predict this and that yes this prediction is nothing but to make you conscious people are thinking you have some power inside yes you can see the power whether your nonsense or sense you're talking sense or nonsense that's the only difference by well, the way you talk the way you move so tofuko understood that his disciples were with him for a long time and they were depending on him too much to to stop them from depending to be more creative because each one has got a power of a thousand man warrior they have they have become followers not seekers all this time followers was very good following him was very good like the horse make him to run in straight line by covering both sides that is okay but once a tree is grown you don't need the fence like swami vivekananda said when a small plant needs a fence otherwise the cows will eat it up so once the plant has become a big tree you don't need the fence anymore likewise the disciples also after they grown up also they refused to leave and create another big circle like what happened in our society children sit around the parents and when they grow up also they are not willing to leave the parents and create a new circle they wanted the parents property parents wealth again from the circle they wanted division from the circle hence tofuku said look i am going to leave so disciples thought or the people who usually think the masters predicted that they are they are they are going to die that was not the truth yes that was not what is trying to tell is now it's enough i am not going to be possessive of this ashram i am not been going to be possessive of this rakun school yes i am not been possessive of this martial arts yes a day came i just left home a day came without informing or informing i just said i am leaving and they thought i was joking and left the martial arts world yes a day came maybe i will leave the blind school to start the ash it's not that i am not going to connect it up that it is just that the other students should make it more creative because they are all grown up they should not hang on to it. that was the thing about one on one year on the 25th of december tofuku was very old said to his disciples i am not going to be alive alive in the sense i am not going to be with you working to tell you to do this and that alive 
means I'm not going to be in the in your presence. You are just looking at me. What is my next command? Now you have to create your own command. You have to ask yourself. Who am I? Like so what Swami, uh, Ramana Maharshi said, ask who am I? And Jesus Christ said, knock on the door, shall be open. Swami Vivekananda said, awake, rise. All these are trying to tell you that you have the power, look into you and take a step forward. Next year, so you fellows should treat me well this year. In the sense, he said, next year I'm going to get going the order that in one year I'm going to be here. But treat me well means be conscious of every word what I'm speaking. Every work, work what I do, no work, no food. I will never take any food without working. I'll sweat it out. I'll move with the people. I will, I will hug the mud and the trees and the animals and the people. Yes. Not only just giving the lectures, I'll move with them. I'll be an example. I'll always work harder and faster than any one of you. Now you be conscious of how I'm doing next year. So you fellows should treat me well means, treat me well means you just be conscious of watching me. People thought he was joking, but since he was a great hearted teacher, each one of them treated him to a feast on succeeding days of the departing year. On the eve of the new year, Tofu concluded, you have been good to me. I shall leave you tomorrow afternoon and the snow has stopped. So he said, tomorrow I'm going to leave. The disciples thought he was joking, but the next day when he went, the master was not there. They thought the book says the master died, passed away. No, no. He has left the ashram to another ashram to build. Because other, another, another group of students are waiting for, for his directions. So now you have been okay. Now you build it up to the level. I have shown you one step. Now you build it up to a thousand steps. To a ten thousand steps. One step leads to ten thousand. Show me the ten thousand steps growth. That was what the master. If you are not shown in that you are not a good disciple. Hoshin who related the story told his disciples. It's not necessary for a Zen master to predict his passing. But if he really wishes to do so, then he can. Can you? Someone asked. So, Hoshin, when he was talking, telling this story, was telling, it is not necessary that we, we predict our death. Hoshin read his story, told his, it is not necessary for a Zen master to predict his passing. But if he really wishes to do so, he can. Can you? Someone asked. Yes, answered Hoshin. I will show you what I can do seven days from now. So, so the student said, what Tofuku did it, can you do predict? And he said, <laughs> prediction is life and death. It's not that I commit harakiri or commit suicide or jump on the, and die. No, it's not about that death. The students thought living means, this living is physical body. No, no, no. Please try to understand that is going to another, another place. It's another uh, ashram, another place to find out new disciples, to treat them. Yes. A Zen master was always caught stealing and was sent to the jail. And he was a very famous uh, master. So all the disciples went to the master. They were telling what people will be talking about us when you keep on stealing. Why you are stealing? Everything we are given. You have such a beautiful palace, beautiful ashram. So many rich, rich, powerful disciples. All the beautiful buildings, all the vehicles, whatever you want. Everything you have good food, everything. Why you are stealing? He refused to tell. After several times going to the uh, jail, when he came out one day, he said, yes, now I, it's fulfilled me. So what is it? I waited, I still, you know, I stole and went to the police station and told them I stole. So they sent me to the jail. In the jail, who is there to teach them? I went to the jail, so I was able to convert a lot of the criminals to good path. Otherwise, all Swamiji will sit here. Means what he's telling is not that he stole and went to the jail. He must have moved into the house to house, village to village, in the dirtiest of the places to work with them, be a karma yogi, and then teach them something. That might be the connecting link. Can you? Yes, answer the ocean. I will show you what I can do seven days from now. None of the disciples believed him. And most of them had even forgotten the conversation when Hoshin next called them together. Seven days ago, he remarked, 
I said I was going to leave you. It is customary to write a farewell poem, but I am neither poet nor calligrapher. Let one of you inscribe my last words. You said, 70s have passed. I told you 70s back, I am going to leave. Now let me write a poem and go. His followers thought he was joking, but one of them started to write, Are you ready? Hoshin asked. The followers thought he was joking, said one of them. And Hoshin said, Are you ready? And Hoshin said, Yes, sir, replied the writer. Then Hoshin dictated, I came from brilliancy and I returned to brilliancy. What is this? I came from brilliancy, went to brilliancy, I came with nothing and go with nothing. That's all. That is a brilliancy. If you can keep your mind and your heart and the body empty, what is that to carry? What is that to uh, possess? What is that to hold on? What is that you are uh, charging at your parents and asking them for a part of your property? Shameless, shameful. Shameless, why are you not acting like a master? Prove you can uh, roar like a thousand men warrior. I came from brilliancy and I returned back to brilliancy. What is this? The poem was one line short of the customary four. So the disciples said, Master, we are one line short. Hoshin with the roar of conquering line shouted, Ka! And was gone. <laughs> In that Ka, there's no this and that. Rich or the poor. <laughs> Good or bad, it's just the roar of a thousand-man warrior, just car.